I would not even regard America yet as a barbaric country. We are an extraordinarily young culture, and to understand the United States is to understand a 15-year-old. It ranges from dramatic hubris and belief that everything is possible to total despair and suicidal conviction that nothing is possible and I've completely failed in between rage attacks. If you've ever had a 15-year-old at home, you will recognize it. Um, there are two things to say, which is that when I traveled the world, there was a conviction that the Americans were barbaric imperialists, uh, a, a conviction that the Americans had completely bungled the world because their parochial lack of understanding and that, in fact, they would never recover. This was 1975. So the, when I traveled in Europe in my life, there has been a constant conviction, insistence, belief, about the insufficiency of American culture and everything else. I will say profoundly that I think Americans know Europe much better on the whole than Europeans know Americans. Some of the things that Europeans think about America is funny. But there is a single truth to be said. We are an immature country. I think of us as Baby Huey, if you ever remember the old cart. Way too big, much too clumsy, uh, way too emotional, too sure of ourselves, uh, too depressed. It is very difficult to get the measure of this country at this point in time. And I think the 21st century will be a period where American culture begins to mature that it begins to reach the point where it has both barbaric self-confidence, if you will, but at least has a sense of perspective. Because the one thing to be said about the United States, as I look at it, is the lack of perspective. How many times this century we believed it's all over for us, and how many times we believed that we could do anything we wanted in the world. So I don't see any solution to our culture except growing up and uh, I doubt that my book contributes anything to that, but if it does, it'd be nice. <laughs>